Hello everyone, this is Swati from Cisco's Server Virtualization Team. Today I'll be talking about C125 M5 Compute Nodes, starting with a brief description about the product. Each C125 M5 has two sockets supporting the AMD EPIC 7000 processors up to 180W TDP. There are 16 DIMM slots for 2600 MHz DDR4 RAMs and capacity points up to 128 GB. Up to two half height, half length PCI Express 3.0 slots and optimal M.2 SD module. The C125 supports either SAS RAID via a PCI 12G SAS storage controller card or SATA Direct from AMD EPIC CPU. The node also includes a dedicated internal LAN mezzanine slot based on OCP 2.0 standard supporting networking speeds up to 100 Gbps. Additionally, installation of fourth generation Cisco PCI WIC card can be added in the PCI 3.0 slot. Here we have the top view and the front view of the server node. Now we'll talk about the connectivity and firmware upgrade. Each server node is separately connected to FI similar to any RAC server. UCSM supports direct attached and single wire managed connectivity. The connectivity is supported in 3rd gen and 4th gen FIs and their respective supported fixes. All the features relevant to RAC servers are applicable to C125 M5 server node as well. Firmware update is similar to RAC servers. On the right hand side, we have the pictorial representation of the compute node in the GUI and the CLI. In the CLI, we would need to run the command show slot to check the number of slots equipped. Please make sure to always shut down the node before removing it from the chassis. Failure to do so would result in the corresponding RAID supercap cache being discarded and other data might be lost. This diagram represents the CPU to DIMM mapping. In the new AMD processors, we do not have a specific memory population. But for the proper functionality of the server nodes, it's recommended to have a minimum of four DIMMs populated for each CPU node. Now let's have a look at the C125 M5 compute node. These are the two CPUs and four screws to remove the heat sinks. There are four, 16 DIMM slots present on either sides of the CPUs. To remove the DIMM from the slot, gently press the clamps towards outside and remove the DIMM. While placing back the DIMM in the slot, make sure it's properly inserted in the grooves and press it gently. This is the DIMM blanking. Make sure that the empty slots are always filled with DIMM blankings for the proper airflow. Hope this video was informative for you. Thank you for watching.